Welcome to the adventure on Pumlet on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Michael Angel Woodruff from the Alpha Complex. How are you doing? Nice. So, I think... I never really talk about band names, but as soon as I saw that band name, I'm like, hmm, that's kind of like my speed right there. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Some people really love it, and some people get really offended by it. I mean... We're kind of in an industry and in day and age that's easily offended. But I try and tell people, you know, it's not alpha. Or, or it's alpha as in be the alpha. We are what we want to motivate you or inspire you to be the leader in your life. Stop following. Think for yourself, man. Yeah. Stand up. Stop being a doormat and kick some ass. I think that's a good point because we have a lot of that happening also nowadays is there's a lot of followers and very few leaders. Yeah. I just wish there was a lot more followers on social media. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think you need to do some TikToks. Yeah, there we go. Because, listen, my, my daughter's boyfriend, he's 26 years old. He has 160,000 followers because he solves Rubik's Cubes. Rubik's Cubes. Yes. It's it's quite impressive. Right? Yeah. And then, I mean, look at... He's, I can't do it. He's, he's right back there, Jarris Johnson. Look at what happened to him. You know about his TikTok story, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, he just started doing remixes and whatnot. He did one, one track. It took off and then uh, started doing remixes. People noticed. And now, now look at him, bro. Yeah. Living and, the dream. And the bands he's remixing are doing it with They're him. They're doing it with him, yeah. And like, okay, so... He took one of my favorite Bring Me to Horizon songs and made it like the most popular song, and it's like years old. <laughs> so there you go. So maybe you could, after we're done, go hook up with him, and you guys could collab. Bro, if I was able to do a collaborative TikTok with Jairus Johnson, I think, I think our career would be just right there in the bucket. It's, hey, congratulations, you made it. There you go. <laughs> so... Tell us a little bit about your music, not a, not from a genre standpoint, because I hate that shit, boxes artists in. Yeah, anti-genre. Like, yeah, I love artists describing their music to the listeners, how they see it. Well, I see it as adrenaline-inducing and thought-provoking, emotionally charged and driven i guess like i i, I love all those i want i want to drive home the positive message that you are more than you allow yourself to think you are i love that and the reason i love that is like there's radio me but there's also motivational speaker me oh hey yes so you hit right right a nerve right there i love that because music to me is one of the greatest motivators yeah you know and, and it's one of the greatest therapies so <laughs> We need a positive message in this world more than ever, and the best way to send that positive message, in my opinion, is not me getting up and telling people, it's you getting up and singing to people. Right, and a lot of our stuff isn't right there on the paper. You know, the, the, the way that I'm saying the message isn't necessarily like, hey, you're better than you think you are. It's, it's talking about a toxic relationship, and sometimes it's being the better person by taking the responsibility, saying, I'm the problem in this relationship you can do better. I'm bad for you. And then on another aspect, we have a song like A War Worth Winning that is tackling issues like mental health and suicide prevention, racism, addiction. It's saying that we all fight a battle every day. When we wake up, it is a battle. And guess what? That war is worth winning. You can win it, but you got to want to win it, you know? And everybody has those battles. A lot of people don't realize that. They look at others and Maybe it's the game face you put on and people think, oh, you got it easy. 
It's just that I think for me, I would prefer, and it's not for everybody else, for me to put on that game face because the other isn't very fun. Right, right. You know, so to me, it's more fun to like kind of put that positive spin on things and kind of live the life that you want to live opposed to yeah. being upset about the life you have to live. Exactly. If you don't like your surroundings and you don't like your situation, you have every piece of the control. Yeah. You have everything you need to change it. You got to just start with your thoughts. You got to put that positive energy out there. You got to want something like you already have it. Yeah. And you have to be grateful and you have to be forgiving and not hold on to the negative stuff because that all that is weighing you down. And it, you know what's funny about that is we waste so much time on that negative stuff that it inhibits us, number one. But number two, usually the people that are associated with that negativity, they're not being harmed by it. You are. Like when no. you're negative about other people and about how they affected your life, your negativity doesn't affect them in any way, but it affects you. And, all, and what's worse is they might actually be feeding off the fact that it's affecting you. Yeah. Oh, it's like when I was a kid, my, my brother used to tease me mercilessly. And my mother always used to say, ignore him. It won't be any fun. But because you react, it's more fun. And that is yeah. so true. And as a kid, that's the hardest thing to understand. But as, as you grow into adulthood, you start to realize there's something to that. Yeah. Like it, not just something, it is it. Yeah. Ignore them. And what are they getting out of it? They're not getting the energy feed that they want. So yeah. they're, they're starving themselves, you know? Exactly, 100%. So tell us about your newest music. The newest song is called My Inferno. It is also, again, a, about a toxic relationship. It's See, I thought it was about Aftershock because it's so hot here. It is an inferno here for sure, man. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I, I saw a Clutch yesterday, and he was like, <laughs> I, I laughed so hard when he said this. He goes, the, that lighting director's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sun, bro. Oh, I love it. Oh, so, that's I great. I mean, that's, that's a classic. That, that right now, I'll use that every time I ever play stages. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say this clutch. I'm sorry. I'm taking that. I'm putting it in my bag, baby. There you go. My Inferno is, uh, you know, about uh, the person that acts on the outside like an angel to everybody that's surrounding and the looks can be con deceiving, you know, but when actually their horns are holding up the halo and they are just the worst thing for you. And you have to break free of that. You have to get out of it. Well, it's funny how you said earlier about taking responsibility, because I'm a big believer of even if I'm not the one at fault, there is responsibility and there are faults yeah. and you got to realize them too many people especially in relationships they always think it's one-sided but put yourself in their thoughts is the way i look at it you know even an example like with my ex-wife my you know my kids will say stuff and my my answer will be well she has a right to be that way i may not agree with it but in the same token, people have their own values, their own likes, their own dislikes, their own upbringings. And I think that's the thing that people don't understand most of the time is like, just because somebody doesn't think like you doesn't mean they're wrong. Big time. Like, that's powerful. It's just, I believe that. I feel that way. But hearing it out loud, again, from someone else than yourself. Right. It just resonates so well with me because I have a, a prior relationship where I had kids with that were not together. And a lot of people were so quick to be like, you know, well, that's messed up, that blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know what? Guess what? I will never talk ill of my baby's mama because she's raising my children, you know? And well, yeah, no one wins by, by talking ill of the other in that situation at all and there's fault here so where where do i get off pointing the finger that way when there's three pointing right back at me you know or even understand the whole situation like i've i'm divorced twice so the second wife everybody was like 
they all put her at fault for something she did, and they all say shit to her about her, and I'm like, listen, yeah, maybe she went about things the wrong way, but, you know, you don't know what she was going through, and, you know, it was like, you don't know her part of it or her perception yeah. of what went on, you know, and that's the fit problem. People don't look at other people's perception. And even more so, you may not have known. Exactly. No matter how close you guys were living in the same space, that doesn't mean you're in that space. Exactly. You know, in her head. So. Exactly. You know, and a lot of times people, I call it like the key to a good relationship is proper communication. Not communication, proper communication because we all speak different languages. Mm -hmm. There has to be a translator somewhere. Right. You know, and so the bottom line is, is we can think people are evil and they were the wrongdoer, but we can also think what made them like that or what part did we take in that? You know, how many times do relationships people look at somebody and they're like, well, they weren't like that with me. Why are they like, like that? Maybe it's because of the energy they're getting from the other person compared to the energy you are giving. Right, right. They might be a, a, in a better situation now. Right. Or worse, you know, but like that, that's where you get to actually see those, those mirrors. You know, there's always mirrors in this world. And you have to be able to look at them and, and realize my problem isn't with that. It's my problem is with myself and how I feel about that. Yeah. And I need to check myself. And, you know, it's funny because it could be even something si as simple as where you grew up. You know, I had a conversation with my brother once. He was, we were talking about my son-in-law. And I explained, like, a viewpoint my son-in-law had that I don't agree with, but I respect. Because right. I can understand where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, he's just not educated and not informed. And that's how people talk nowadays. Right. I'm like, no. He grew up in a different place than you did with different values being taught to him, different surroundings, different variables. You don't know what happened in his life to cause that way of thinking. It doesn't have to be your thinking. Your thinking is not right. Your thinking is right for you. It's like the butterfly effect. One small difference can be so much bigger further down the line. It can, it can oh, yeah. trigger so many different things. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. It's endless, because then that other thing that got triggered is triggering something else now. And that's why I think music's the best therapy, because like a song like yours, you have meaning that you put to it, but then the listener has their own meaning I they put that. to it. I love that. I love that part so much. The interpretation, being open to that. I, the biggest question that I hate answering, and I know I kind of put it out there on this conversation, but is when they say, what's the songs about? I don't really want to tell you what the song is about yeah. for me because it kind of hinders what it, it might sway the medicine right. that I'm putting out there for you. Now it may not cure this. May, it may not, you may not want to take it yeah. because I told you it was about this. Whereas if you listen to it blindly. Put your own meaning to it. You put your own meaning, you heal yourself. Yeah, 100%. That's why I like artists like you and not artists that are basically... You know, when somebody puts a different meaning to their lyrics, they get insulted by that. Yeah, no, 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 that's no, no, not what that means. Exactly. Who gives a Leave it frick? Open. It, that, it's what it means to you. Maybe it means something different to them. And music is therapy, so let it mean something to them. Exactly. If you're trying to tell somebody what it is, how, how useful is that for them if yeah. they're not going through the same thing? Exactly. I find in motivational speaking, too, it's like, you tell stories that people can relate to, not that they had the exact same story. They can relate to it and, and relate to their own stories. That's why it's pretty funny, and you'll understand this as an artist, because most artists are like, who they are on stage and who they are off stage are two different people. Personas, yeah. I'm a very private person, okay? And, but, and there's things that nobody in my life knows about except people that attend my seminars. And it's the same with music, like, you as an artist probably have things people don't know about, but you write about them in songs because that's how you're helping other people, you know, and that's what it is to me. Like, if I'm talking in personal life, 
it's not going to help somebody, me telling my stories or whatever, but me getting up on stage to people that are coming there that want to change their life, those stories help them to go, oh, right. I relate to that. Or, oh, he's human. He's going through the same thing I am. You yeah. know, because people sometimes don't see that. No, as an artist, like, your, your job, first and foremost, is to heal yourself. Yeah. To get it out. Then it's to look at the problem there and go, my, my therapy's done. How do I help other people with my issue? Maybe they can't relate to this, but if I change this word or how I'm saying it, maybe it'll provoke some thought. Yeah. 100%. And that's where the medicine is. That's where it all comes together, baby. 100%. And I think I, I say this a lot in interviews lately. I think the fact that we did not have live music is why people are such assholes right now when, because there was no therapy. There was no release. Two years, man. Like, right? there's something so different. You can listen to your favorite song over and over. You can watch it on YouTube, but there's nothing in this world that can replace being in front of those speakers and feeling that connection when that artist is talking to you. When, the, when Corey tells people, get on the ground, right now. now. You're, you feel that shit. Oh, 100%. And, and then when you jump... You look, you're, you're like insulted if people don't do it. You look to your side. You're like, get the fuck down. Did you not hear this, man? <laughs> yeah, I was with some people and they were still saying, I'm like, get down. It's all good. You know, like, <laughs> that's, that's the, the other part coming into it. You're like, wait, maybe they can't. Maybe they got problems. I don't know what you're doing with. Have fun, man. <laughs> and see, for me, like, when he goes to a part where he's like, he tells, it's like, don't get up till I tell you to get up. Not till I say, jump get the fuck, fuck up. up. <laughs> and then when he does it, like, there is a, a super adrenaline rush and that feeling of community because you're all you're a part doing of it. it. You're a part of it. That's right. So, how Beautiful. about your live shows? I like... To, to give that energy. I, I give as much energy as I can. You know, people wouldn't know it by seeing me on stage, but car accidents, they take a toll. Oh. But when I get on stage, you'll never know it because I'm going to give you everything I got, 110%. I'm going to go too far, and I'm going to regret it later, but that, that's what you're going to get from me. You know, in, in different aspects of my career at different stages, you know, I was able to kind of pull off different things and, and have moments that were maybe not as impactful as the get down on the ground moments but definitely had that vibe and had that con that that listening you know like the 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 power that those moments have that's what brings the whole show together that's what you go home with and you talk to your friends about and then we go home and we go that was rad yeah how do we make that even better next time so one of my biggest memories was a few years back at Aftershock when System of a Down played the first time oh in all those my years. God. The whole crowd sang every lyric of every song of the whole set. Yep. I mean, it was just the most amazing thing. And going back to your point, that is something you could never experience watching a live stream or no. a YouTube or a yell at your computer. You're going to sing along. Yeah. <laughs> it was just such a chill hearing the whole place just sing every bit. Absolutely. And let me, let me tell the listeners right now, there's something like we're giving you our energy and we're giving you everything we have. But when we get it back from you, it's so much more powerful. It's better than any drug. It is. And because of that, that is a reason for a lot of, of, you know, depression, like downward spirals, because you cannot get that yeah. without doing that. You, you're, you think about it. I'm one person. I'm telling 10 people. Let's, let's say just 10. Let's make it easy. 10 people to do something. Scream at the top of your lungs right now, you know, and, and all of a sudden they do it. Guess what? They were louder than I was. And I have a microphone and a PA. Yeah. That's power. There's 100%. real energy there. 100%. And, you know, you said before about getting up on stage. It is a thing that the pros, like yourself, you know, once you get up on stage, nothing else really matters. No. It's when you get off stage, I said this before, then you give yourself permission to die. 
you know, but once you're up there, you're such a zone that nothing that ails you you're, ails you at that moment in time. You could be having a heart attack up there and you won't care. Man. No you're doubt. Like, you're like, I'll die in 10 minutes when the set's over. <laughs> right. Exactly. I give myself permission. <laughs> right. Right. You so, know, one, one thing I noticed talking about, too, talking to you, is the shirt you're wearing right now. That is one of the most underrated, amazing bands I love the Union Underground. You know what's so cool, too? I've been getting a lot of comments about this shirt. Okay, so the first time I got introduced to them was at OzFest, like, 99, 2000, something like that, where I was handed a CD, Yeah. you know? I'm like, what the hell is this? And then I listen, and I'm like, oh, that's badass. So I interviewed them a few weeks ago at Blue Ridge, and they gave me this shirt, you know, and... The thing is, all day today, people are going, man, that's an iconic shirt. Like, that, that's giving me flashbacks. I'm like, yeah, it's new. I just got it. Bro, you just blew my mind. I didn't even know they were back. I am so excited right now. How about that? I feel like a kid in a candy store. How about that? Move with the Nobody music, Nobody really bro. knew here. They're all saying that to me. I'm like, I just got it a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh, my God. So there I'm you so have happy it. right now. <laughs> That now, after this interview, you're going to be, like, looking them up and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, well, not here. We ain't got a good service here. Right. But as soon as I get home, I'm going to be like, what's up, man? I'm waiting for you guys to drop something. Let's go on tour. Let's talk. Let's go. There you go. Loving it. Yeah. So I interviewed them. You can even look up. You can listen to the interview with them at That's Blue Ridge so Rock awesome. Festival. Blue Ridge is such a great show. So when I was touring with Motograder, we were on the Orgy Bring Your, Bring Your Army tour. And okay. And we, we were out there, and we played. And we played in the hot sun. And Motograder is full body paint. Like, yeah. you're no shirt. You got your shirt off. And you got just, it's everywhere. It's messy. It's sweaty. And there's just paint. You look like an aboriginal warrior ready to just go to battle. And that sun baked us. But, man, what a show. What a festival. What a place to be. Love the East Coast, man. It's different from over here. But the one thing that isn't different is music brings us all together. All these different yep. people from different walks of life, from different parts of the world, not just the country, the world. It's so amazing to see all these people coming together for one reason. Yeah, 100%. percent Especially is, after a two-year break. This is why live music should have never gone away. Exactly this, you know? Yep. And so, have you roamed the grounds? Like, Aftershock is one of my favorite festivals to work and do. Yes. Because it's just so cool here. You got the trees, and it's just like the vibe, and... Of course, Danny Wimmer puts on the best festival, so oh, you know, yeah. it's the real deal. Absolutely. And I love the the night vibe here. Yeah. Because yeah. the trees being lit up with lights. It's just it's gorgeous. It is. What a great what a he, great time to be alive. Right? He and, just keeps getting better too. Danny oh, yeah. Wimmer and all the people that work here, there's so many people with this beast right here. Oh yeah. And they are just all of a sudden a new one pops up. Oh yeah, we're part of that now. Yep. And like, like, like another uh, one of my favorites, Golden Inca Sky is coming Incarcer up. Right? Incarceration. Yep, you're Love right. Love it. Golden Sky next weekend. Yep. You know, so, but yeah, Incarceration is one of my favorites because of the venue itself. Like my, yep. my daughter always says, are you excited to go to this festival? I'm like, I don't know if excited's the word when you do it every weekend. You know, I love it. And then one time I was at Inc., and I called her up in, from the prison yard of Shawshank Prison. And I'm oh, like, man. now I'm excited. Yeah. I'm at Shawshank Prison. So <laughs> I wasn't in the band when Motograder played it in 2018. But they played it. And then they went in and did a music video in the prison. Nice. And I got to say, it, it's a great music video. I give all the love to those guys, you know. I'm focusing my pressure over here, you know. All my focus is on the Alpha Complex right now. And I, I just, I have so much love for my brothers, you know, yeah. in that band. And that video is an awesome video, I'm just saying, because it, it happened there. That's why I'm talking about it. That's it. Well, it's funny because in the last Inc., I was hanging out with Waylon Rivas from A Killer's Confession and formerly Mushroom Head. And yeah, he love, told, love he, Waylon. He told me about how he did a video in the prison there in that room that's like was the torture room. And he, because that, that place is haunted. Yeah. He came out with scratches all over his back, he told me, doing a video there. Yep. It, listeners, if you could see the look on his face. <laughs> I, I, yeah, 
ghosts and and the paranormal definitely piqued my interest because I've had my own experiences that Me we could too. talk about another time that is just mind blowing. Well, that's like my ex wife. She was from Florida, and I'm from Jersey, and. I moved her to New Jersey, and she was like, bring me to the Amityville house. Oh, and what? like, No. I'll give you directions. You can go. I'm not Have fucking fun. going there. If a house, listen, I don't get what part of it. If a house tells you to get out, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm gone. Yeah. That I'm is... like, I won't go anywhere near that house. You have a good time. I'll tell you exactly where it is. Yep. Go enjoy yourself. And what people don't realize is the East Coast... <laughs> is older than the West Coast. Yes. There's a lot of history that went down while the people were trying to come to the West and a lot of gruesome shit. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so and let's tell everybody your socials, web, every way they can connect with you. And so check I, out did this, I did this to make it super easy on everybody. Just go to the alphacomplex.com. It is literally our link tree, nice. and it has everything that you could possibly want. And if, you, if it doesn't, Read us on one of those and tell us what you want, and we'll get it. There it is. That's what I love about Linktree. It's so cool. I got this new thing. I didn't bring it yet because I have to program it. It's similar to Linktree, but it's called Popple, and you buy these different merchandise. The thing I bought was a bracelet, like one of these. Yeah. And I just go up to your phone with and it. tap it. Yep. Cool as shit. Dude, my friends have been trying to get me on Dot, the, the Dot card, you know. I'm looking into it. Because I, I carry around this right here. You know, oh, there just, you go. You know, because I'm tired of running out of cards or picking up cards because people are like, yeah, 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 and then they toss it or drop it. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they dropped it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it wasn't on purpose. Exactly. So, <laughs> they you know, can't yeah, drop uh, always looking for the new, more effective way to promote. Yeah. Like when the per first person can figure out how to not play a festival like this but yet reach every person here, you're winning, bro. There it is. And here you are. We so, got to figure it out. <laughs> you rock. Your music rocks. You have any final words you want to share with the listeners? The listeners rock. That's You true. guys rock. I, I'm just lucky to be here, and I'm happy and grateful. Dean, thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure, and thank you for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Absolutely. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.